Good morning guys, today is Thursday 30th of April, this time is 6.39 a.m. London time and I'm going to continue pound dollar analysis. Uh, right now I'm watching weekly chart as we can see yesterday bullish was strengthening and uh, what we see at the bottom we can see the MACD is still bullish and stochastic is still above 80 and the bearish momentum is decreasing. Let's see on daily. Uh, what we see daily yesterday, the price broken 153400 area, uh, and you can see, and the price nicely respected 15500 uh, resistance area. These are the psychological big numbers, and you can see the price nicely respect these numbers. Right. So after that, you can see, uh, you know, some retracement, and let's see on four hour. Uh, what we see in four hour yesterday, the price you know broke on this one five three uh, hundred, and uh, you know we had a nice uh, bullish uh, you know uh, trade around about around about hundred and forty pips, uh, because as you see at the bottom the momentum is bullish, uh, and based on the momentum, if you you know if you have taken this breakout, and you can see one hundred and forty pips. Now the price is retraced. Retracement. Let's see how the market is going to perform today. Uh, let's move on one hour and plan a trade for today. <coughs> uh, just to re recap, uh, yesterday trade. Uh, as I was looking breakout of this channel, uh, as you can see, this one one five three hundred, uh, you know, area as well, and price nicely broke on this area and respected one five four hundred, my first target, as I mentioned yesterday video. Uh, this was around about I think 50 pips or something like that. Yeah, is ar around 47 pips, and then afterwards price basically pulled back nicely, respected again 153500 area, and then you can see uh, you know bullish movement at the bottom. Uh, the trend, uh, the momentum was bullish. So based on that, uh, you know it was a nice opportunities, the breakout opportunities here as well for long trade. And there was a counter trade as well, 15500 area. Uh, so what is the agenda for today? Uh, what I'm looking, I'm looking at the moment, you can see this is the, the price is consolidation. This is the big candle. And now you can see all these small candles. So this is the consolidation. So it's look like, you know, uh, the price might need some retracement. Uh, but it's, but uh, as I mentioned, I would confirm in five minutes and trade accordingly. Right, so what I'm looking here, so one second, and that's just the breakout I'm looking for bullish trade if it happens, and then if the price break this one five four hundred area and retest, uh, and then I would taking a short trade here. So that's the breakout for today. I'm I'm more interested. What we see at the bottom, we can see you can see that this yellow line has crossed this white line. So and the stochastic is still below 80. MACD is bearish. So it's look like probably is going to be this uh, going to be a retracement, but we'll see. Uh, and it's too early to say that price might change the trend. But if the price go back and respect this one five five hundred area again, uh, double top appear here then we can and after that probably we might be thinking that price might going to come down but we'll see it's too early to say and uh, today opportunity is this is the breakout i'm interested uh, and we'll see how the market is going to perform and uh, let's see if there's any high impact news today today we don't have any high impact news for pound but we do have a one uh, impact news for dollar around 1 30 pm london time uh, we'll see how this news is going to react in the market. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. I'm just going to show you how I basically validate trade in five minutes, just to give you an idea how I basically take the, my position. Um, let's move on to the five minute. And this is the you know uh, yesterday trade. As you can see, this is one five three hundred area, and the price broke on this area. And the reason why I take this long trade, as I mentioned earlier, I was looking this breakout and based on the momentum, uh, this was the breakout trade here. You can see uh, and price nicely 154,000 respect this area. And uh, there was another counter trade here. If you look at why, because if you look at the price is moving up and up and the stochastic 
flux stock OSIC was turning down and down so there was a diversion so that's give us the early sign the price might going to you know retraced and you can see this is the diversion so this is the because in one in higher time frame we plan our trade and we execute trade in a shorter time frame and after that you can see uh, one two three times the price created you know held and shoulder pattern in five minutes respected one five three hundred so as soon as this you know breakout we take another trade here if you look at here this is the another uh, breakout as you can see here there was another opportunity here and then we had another counter trade opportunity here and but most probably we are looking on a uh, high, long trades and uh, then we had another opportunity 15400 when the price broke on this area and after retest we had another breakout here if you look at here this is another breakout and we had another counter trade here as you can see at the bottom uh, you know you can see here and if you look at at the bottom you can see there's a clear diversion right and we had another counter trade here short after this candle when the candle inside bar candle happened in a shorter time frame we had it under short opportunity here and you can see after that the price nicely so that's the you know where we basically validate trade in five minutes uh, but we plan our trade in a high time frame i hope you understand all right so guys that's it uh, today what i'm looking breakout and we'll see how the market is going to perform today and uh, i'll see you tomorrow thank you